Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I've cooked anything. I've been busy for the past few weeks, but I'm home today, so I'm going to be cooking. I'll be making surf and turf. I'll be using um, a fried steak method with creamy cheese shrimp, or should I say shrimp in creamy cheese sauce, whichever way you want to spin it. And I'll be doing some creamed Irish and putting some vegetables on the side. I have not decided if I'm going to be using um, fresh vegetables or steamed vegetables. But let's stick around and see where it goes from here. I'll have to go to the butcher to get my steak. I don't buy steak from the supermarket. So guys, I hope you enjoy my video today. Thank you. Okay guys, here's my steak. I got this from the butcher. There's a little bit of bone here. I can just cut this off. I'm going to be using this side over here. It's really thick. If you, yeah, it's looking like this. So what I'll do, I'll slice it in two very thin. I have some wet rub in the fridge. I'm going to put it on this. My, my shrimp is actually defrosting. So when that is completely defrosted, I'll add some of my wet rub to it also. I'll let this sit for about an hour and then I'm gonna put it in the slow cook. Alright guys, so now that I've added my seasoning, I'm going to let this sit here for about an hour as I said before. Then I'll add it to the slow cooker. What you see blended here is onion, garlic, pimentos, what else did I add to this? Ginger, um, thyme and pepper yeah so that's what's in this mixture right. so now that my steak has been marinated for about an hour it's time to get this baby started I was going to use my slow cooker but I am no longer going to do that because it's very small and I don't want the edges of my steak to be bent too much so let's get this on the stove all right so let's see I hope this is not too hot uh, let's pray I don't get it. Right, so I'm just going to cover this, turn the fire down, cover this, and leave it here for a little while. I went ahead and I chopped my vegetables. I cut my potatoes um, into quarters. My steak is here. I will be putting this on the stove shortly. I'm going to cook my potatoes first though because um, it takes a little while longer to do. My shrimp is also seasoned and it's ready to go on the stove. So the last two things that I'm going to do is the steak and the shrimp because it takes it's very easy and quick to do. My vegetables also will go in last because I don't want it to get too soft or Let's check if my oil is hot enough like we did the last time. I think it is. Alright, so I'm gonna add my steak. What we need is just a crust. Remember that this has um, this has already been cooked. So this don't need to stay in the frying pan for a long time. We just need a nice crust to form and then we so I think this is ready to be removed from the pot. Let's see what the other side looks like. Alright, so remember that we don't want our steak to cook too much or fry too much because it will be dry. So I'm going to remove this from the pot now. So now I'll be adding my shrimp. Oh, let me see. I think there's too much liquid in this. Let me strain this off. Let me put on my potatoes. Where's my fork? Alright, so it's going to So I'm going to turn this off. And my vegetables, they also seem like they're done. So I'm going to turn this should be ready in about five minutes or less. I don't want it to get too thick. 
cheese and milk burns easily so I don't want my wow this looks excellent all right so I'm going to turn this off now and plate so you guys can see what surf and turf looks like fun fact this is actually my very first time trying out this dish no I did not use a recipe And here we have the final or finished product. So this is my version of Surf and Turf with creamed Irish and steamed vegetables, bok choy and carrots, which is actually very good because the bok choy has a lot of iron in it. Carrot has in, what's that? Beta carotene. It is good for your eyesight. Both of them works together and it's very good for your eyesight. Also, it adds fiber to your diet. I had spoken to you guys about fiber in your diet in a few videos before, so that's the importance of having vegetables. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sorry I took so long to post a video, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Before I leave, our Bible verse today is taken from Hebrews 11 verse 1 and it says, No faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Thank you guys, see you on the next one and Shalom.